We welcome Ms. Bhavani Rana on Radiance Media. She is the she is the immediate past president of FNCCI and also co-chair of Indo Nepal Business Forum. So, Bhavani Rana ji, please tell me about relations with India and businesses you plan with India. Relation with India is is important, you know. Like I think because uh, India is like a second. Home. I have a lot of relatives and all also in India. So, um, uh, so I, in fact, I went to college in India, so that's why the relation is, uh, is really valuable for, for us. And our friendship journey, of course, it started a long time back. And uh, uh, like I joined FNCCI, and that was about uh, 15, 16 years back. And then um, slowly being a member, then slowly uh, vice president, upgrading myself into senior vice president, and I became a president. And uh, I feel really uh, uh, proud to say also because um, uh, FNCCI is uh, dominated by the uh, members, you know, and, then, uh, and the first women uh, president in FNCCI in 50 years of history also. So, um, so we do a lot of, um, of course, uh, India is a biggest trading partner also. And then we still expect uh, uh, the relation should be strengthened, especially the economic relation. And we want more and more uh, investors from India to come and invest in Nepal. You know, because uh, now I think after COVID and all, um, uh, we need to reimagine uh, the um, economic relation between uh, India and Nepal also. So uh, I think uh, the delegation, uh, um, I mean, uh, right now here with the, the right honorable the Prime Minister, and then we just had a big business interaction with uh, his counterpart also. So uh, we discussed a lot of issues on business and how to strengthen uh, economic relations, how to uh, get investment in Nepal, uh, and how to and what are the uh, trade barriers, what are the uh, difficulties, you know, so we could facilitate. Uh, so what is the what was the crux even to say you said you discussed all this so any solutions or important significant solutions or points coming out of the today's of today's meeting? Of course, right on the prime minister uh, he was uh, uh, he was the chief guest you know and then uh, when the uh, business people from India they uh, uh, they actually uh, they wanted to do you know, a lot of things and then uh, they expressed uh, some of them some of the difficulties and also uh, he welcomed right on the Prime Minister welcomed all the business uh, uh, people to come to Nepal and invest and then uh, since uh, and the government will um, uh, give them a conducive environment if there's any problems also they are going to look into it so I think that was a good message by the and what are your areas of interest uh, in business with India and what are you planning in Nepal on your own uh, to expand your businesses well, I'm also a co-chair of the Nepal Business Forum, which is very important. That forum is um, actually initiated by CIA and uh, FNCCI, but now even the government from both parties have adopted it. So from FNCCI, from Nepal side, I actually co-chair, and from Indian side, CIA. So what are the, uh, like, there, there are a lot of um, issues, you know, like, every year, uh, twice a year we meet, and then a lot of issues we come up with, a lot of issues and all. Uh, so um, we recommend the government from both the sides to um, facilitate you know, trade and investment also. So uh, basically it's in the tourism sector and uh, that is one of the very um, priority sector also. So uh, I look for the tourism sector, even agro sector is one of the very upcoming sector, especially the value add and all, the value add industry technology. Processing. So uh, India has a lot of, uh, I think, uh, strong um, strength on technology and also if we could exchange that uh, and then maybe have a joint venture uh, in agro uh, processing industries and all uh, which will add value that is also area which uh, I think not only Nepal personally I'm also looking for that IT sector is another one so there are a lot of sectors where we could work together in the Nepal Okay, thanks a lot, Pani Nanaji. I know you are very busy today and a lot of meetings lined up. So, thanks a lot for talking to Radiance Media.